What are gravitational waves? Doesn't it sound like gravity? But what's gravity at first place? Imagine the space as an infinite rubber sheet. When a mass is put over the sheet, it causes the sheet to bend in a specific way. The smaller mass causes a smaller distortion of space-time, while the bigger one causes a bigger distortion. The star, like our sun, causes a huge distortion of fabric of space-time. So anything going in a straight trajectory would not go straight but follow a path around the sun. And this is how the orbits work. Gravitational waves are ripples in fabric of space-time. When two accelerating bodies orbit each other, they produce waves in fabric of space-time, traveling at speed of light. Anything with mass and energy can produce gravitational waves, even if they start dancing around each other. But this will be practically undetectable as they are very, very small. Gravitational force is the weakest among all, so to produce the gravitational waves which are detectable, we need a huge mass. I mean more huge. Gravitational waves are produced when two massive bodies like black holes or neutron stars collide. When these waves travel, they stretch and twist space-time including you and I. So why don't we feel it? It's because by the time these waves reach Earth, they are so weak. It's like one six trillion meter long pipe would only stretch by five millimeters. And there comes a the point how to detect such a weak wave. Even if you somehow manage to have a scale which could measure such a small changes and try to measure the change in length, you still will not succeed because the scale will also be stretched at the same time. And that's why we need a more advanced technology for detection of gravitational waves. There comes the LIGO detectors in picture. These are four kilometer long tunnels which use laser of single wavelength. The gravitational wave stretches the tunnel in one direction and squeezes in another. Hence the laser will take long time to travel in one tunnel and less in another. The laser reflects back and interferes, and by the change in the interference pattern the distortion is measured. Still there's a question, wouldn't the laser wavelength in tunnel also be stretched? Yes it will, but what's actually happening is that when laser beam in tunnel is stretched, at the same time we are constantly shooting new beam into the tunnel, and hence the new beam does the job for us and not the stretched one. You might be wondering why do we need all this? Studying gravitational waves is the only way of studying universe. He told you we were using light to look into universe, and light has some limitation. But gravity is the only thing which can pass through any dimension, even time. With this only way of studying universe, maybe one day we'll be able to see the things which you never could, even black holes.